then as you and then as you build your your resume, you build your your talent level within the software. You get that confidence and that ab and ability to know that you can go out and get jobs all over the place. And that's where most people, after five ten years, they decide, hey, I'm going to go uh, independent, and and I'll just go work, you know, for myself at com at different companies. So, so what SSG does, we're a consulting firm. So you know, even though you're an employee for SSG, we still send you out to different client sites all over to do to do work. So you're still doing you're doing consulting work versus you know you work at a company and you're always just doing work for that same company. So that, that there's another big difference. Mm -hmm. So that depends on what you know your personality type. Me, I like to I like to be in one place for too long. So I like going, you know, six weeks here, now I get to go to Dallas, six weeks in Dallas and then I you know go go somewhere else and new problems, new challenges. Um, new solutions, so I, 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 that's just how my brain works. So, so just one of the questions that everyone has is, is this for me? <laughs> so well, I, I will the say question that. about that is, what kind of a baseline kind of talent do I need to have to be successful in building this skill? Sure. I'd say, you know, yeah, it does take. Um, and then to go back to that data scientist question that you had, there is that component. Like you, you, you don't necessarily, you don't need to be great in math or you don't need to be great in, you know, any kind of one discipline. You just kind of, you have to have that mind to be a problem solver and be creative. So I can take one business requirement and I can think of, you know, six different solutions that I can, how to solve that just with Informatica, just with the tools that I have. So there's many different ways to tackle these problems. So it's kind of that problem solver, that creative kind of thinker, that 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 lends itself, you know, better to that. Um, sometimes, um, and even within, you know, when you want to get into this industry, there's, you know, I have people that work for me that say, I only I only write code, you know, I don't even like to talk very much, you know. So and they're great at that. And here here's what you need to do, and they're great. And then I have other people, you know, who like, hey, I want to interact with the client a bunch, and I want to. You know, do pre-sales calls with you, and I want to do all you know, a bunch of other things, and write code. So there, you know, there's different, you know, different layers and different levels um, once you get into it. But um, but that kind of, as long as you're kind of a creative thinker, you know, that helps. So nothing, nothing is concrete. Yes. What kind of a pay rate are you looking at for like entry levels? You know, uh, I, it depends whether, again, whether you're uh, uh, hourly or, or an employee. Um, but I would say right now, um, we just hire, like, so the college grads that we are just hiring, I believe all the, most of the offers went out in the 60 to 70,000 a year range. So uh, from an hourly standpoint, um, starting from, you know, 40 to $50 an hour. So I mean it's it, it's a good I mean it's a good industry. I mean, not many industries can you know can say hey I'm just starting out and I command forty five dollars an hour. So so you know and the, to give everyone a, a good idea um, whenever you start because now in this industry you start hearing about hourly rates and things like that. So whatever the hourly if I say it's fifty dollars an hour you times it by two there's two thousand consulting hours in a year. You can say fifty bucks I'm, I, if I work all year I make a hundred thousand. That, that's the easy math to, to start to understand, you know, kind of what the earning potential is. So, and to be completely honest, uh, you know, to the point in my career, like I said, I've been doing it 15 years, um, doing some of this data masking work, um, and all my other experience, um, you know, I can command. I'd have companies pay $235 an hour for me. So, that that's I mean, there's very very high potential. So. I mean, it took 15 years to, to get to that point, but to, you know, the point is, I want you know to see that there is really, I mean, unlimited potential in terms of where you can where you can get to. Does that does that answer? Does that make sense? Okay. 